Hello everyone, RS Jafar today here, and we're going to pick up where we left off in our last lesson. Uh, last time we were working on our little game here, we had Mr. Link walking down, up, right, and left. So today our goal is to add a background and have him move around the, uh, the whole world. And basically what we want to happen is for Link to be able to walk around the middle, but when he gets too close to the edge, for the background to actually move while he's walking. So let's take a look and see what we need to do. The first step is to import in the file that we need, and we need the background image. Now you can use uh, any image that you want in the background. Um, normally you would have different elements in the background, but I want to start simple. It's just going to be a plain background image. So I'm just going to go to File, Import to Library, and I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the folder where I'm holding all the uh, project files. So let's see here. Current projects. There we go. And I just imported this image, this fake map here in my background. Now none of the things inside the map are going to be interactive at all. It's just an image. But it's just a good starting point for what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to head over here to my layers and create a new layer right above the link layer. So I'll create a new layer and I'll call this background. And this is actually going to be below the link layer, I misspoke. So I have the link layer, I have my actions layer, which I'm going to lock so I don't put anything on it, and my background layer right below everything. And I'm going to drag over this background map and just drop it anywhere here. And it'll take a second because it's a fairly large file, but there it is. Now you can see that the uh, image is kind of small for link, but that's okay. This is just for fun anyways. So here I have my background image. In order to make this interactive, I need this to be a movie clip. So I'm going to right click it and convert it to a symbol. I have to give the symbol a name, so I'll just call it Overworld. It's going to be the type of movie clip. I'm going to set the registration point to the top left. That means the top left corner is where the little crosshair is going to be once I convert this to a symbol. So let's click OK. And if you look at my library, I just have added a new movie clip called Overworld. And if I double click on it, it takes me inside of the Overworld movie clip where it has an image of the background. And you can see on the top left corner is where the crosshair is. So everything looks good. I'm going to go back to scene one. And the next thing is to give this background an instance name. So we're going to head over to my properties and call it Overworld MC. After I've given it that name, we have to do a little bit of coding to get it to work for us. Right now, if I just run my game, the background will stay there, and Link can walk up, down, left, and right. But I want the background to move, so if I move too far to the right, I want the background to start moving for us. So, I'm going to head over to my actions and start typing in some code. We're going to go to the section where we have our game loop. So we're going to go all the way down to the third function on our list called game loop. Inside the game loop function, we said if right press is true, and that happens when the key down handler detects a press on the right arrow key, right press becomes true, and when it's released, right press becomes false. So in this case, when right press is true, it's going to move link on the x-axis at the speed of link speed and it's going to show Link walking right. Well, we're going to kind of modify this. Right here, right before any of the code starts within this if statement, I'm going to press Enter to push that down and go above with the up arrow key. So I'm inside the right press uh, condition, and one of the things that I wanted to do is do another condition. The condition that needs to be met is that I only want Link to walk I only want Link to move when he is at a certain point on the x-axis. So what I mean by that is I want Link, well he is right here, I want Link to go about to here and once he gets here to have the background move instead. So Link will only walk until he's less than this point. Now remember this is 0 and this is 1024 on the x-axis. So I'm just going to estimate and say I only want Link to walk to the right 
only if his position is less than, let's say, 800. So I'm going to go over here to my actions layer code. And in this section, I'm going to type if link mc dot x is less than 800, close parentheses, I'm going to press enter, put an open curly bracket just before link mc dot x plus equals link speed. I'm going to press the down arrow key and the left arrow key to get over here just before link and indent that by pressing tab. That way we're nice and organized. I'm going to go to the end, press enter, put a close curly bracket. Now what that just did, if I run it again, this link will walk right, but when it gets too far, he'll stop. Notice that when I press the right arrow key, he'll still show the animation of him walking. The reason that's happening is because I left link MC dot go to and stop walk right frame outside of this condition. So as long as right press is true, regardless, it's going to show link walking right. But it will only actually physically move him if link's position is less than 800 on the x axis. Now, what if his position is greater than 800? Well, in that case, I want it to move the background. So I'm going to press enter after that condition within right pressed and say else. And we don't have to type else if because it's either less than 800 or it's greater than. So there's no other option. Else, open curly bracket, press enter and close curly bracket. Here I'm going to type in overworld mc dot x. And I want the background to move to the left. So I'm going to put minus equals link speed. We can use the same variable there. And so let's see what the result would be. Link will walk to the right. And then the background will start moving left. He walks to 800. Once he's greater than 800, the background moves. Now we just have to do that same process for the other directions. So I'm going to go here to left press. Press enter right where the condition, the, the uh, steps for the condition are going to go and type in if link mc dot x this time is greater than and as long as link is to the right of this area here I'm good so as long as he's in the middle anywhere around here he he should move to the left but once he gets here I want him to stop so I'm just going to estimate again say that's 200 because this is zero on the far left so I'll say as long as he's greater than 200 close parentheses, press enter, open curly bracket, indent link mc dot x minus equals link speed, go to the end of that line, press enter, close the curly bracket, link again, if I run it, will walk to the left and then stop at the edge, but it'll still show his animation. Now let's go back again and add the else. Here we're going to type in else, open curly bracket, close curly bracket, overworld mc dot x plus equals link speed and it's plus equals because I want the background to move to the right so let's try it link walks left when I press the left arrow key he gets to the edge the background moves right he walks right background moves left one last thing we got to do or I should say two last things or two things is to take care of it for up and down press. So for down press, I'm going to go to the beginning, right where the open curly bracket is set. Press enter if link mc dot y. And in this case, I'm pressing down. So I don't want link to go too far down. Uh, the height of my stage is 768 or 768. So as long as he is less than, and we'll just subtract 200 from that, 568. Or I could have just said 500. It doesn't really matter too much. Close parentheses. Press enter. Open curly bracket. Press the down arrow key. Indent link mc dot y plus equals link speed. I'm indenting that. End of the line. Press enter. Close curly bracket. Else. I'm just going to keep moving on. Open curly bracket. Close curly bracket. And we're going to type in overworld mc dot y minus equals link speed. Let's try it out. He walks down, and there's the background. Let's try the same thing 
with him pressing the up arrow key. So I'm going to go to the section where uh, up is pressed. And here we're going to add in if linkmc.y is less than in this case, excuse me, greater than in this case, and we'll use the same number 200 because 0 is at the top. We, we want him to walk up as long as he's less than 200 on the x-axis, um, excuse me, the y-axis. I'm going to say close parentheses, open curly bracket, close curly bracket, and in here, actually I should have put this there. Let's cut that and paste it in there. There we go. Uh, link, he, as long as he's greater than 200, it's going to move link. It's going to be minus equals link speed, so it's going to move him up. Else, open curly bracket, close curly bracket, overworld mc dot y plus equals link speed. And now, if I run it, we can see that link can walk in all directions and the map moves accordingly. Pretty cool. So we have a few problems. One is that Link can walk anywhere on this picture. That includes the trees. He can actually walk on top of the trees. That's no good. So we're going to want to fix that at some future point. But the other problem is that when Link walks, he can keep walking forever off the map. He has found the edge of the world and he sees nothing. So that's not going to work. We want to set it up so that Link can't go past, or the map doesn't move past this point here. We want it to stop there. And as for these little um, sp sprites and objects on the stage that he's walking over, of course, these are just it's just one picture. That's why he can do that. And we would need these to be uh, separate objects for him to interact with them. But we're going to look at that later. So for now, let's just make it so he can't walk too far. To do that, we need to first figure out the coordinates that um, we want him to stop at. We want the stage to stop at, or the background to stop at. So, uh, if I move the map to the right, to the very edge, this is my stage. If I move it to the very edge of the stage, under properties it shows me, on the x-axis, the stage is currently at 0. On the y-axis, the farthest down I want it to go, is also 0. The farthest up the stage should go on the y-axis is negative 2,232. So I'm going to make a notation of that. I was doing this earlier. So negative 2,232. And the farthest left, which I've already kind of done, but you can see how I'm figuring it out is negative 4,310. So I'm going to switch back 4,310. And there we go. So now what I want to do is code it so that it won't go that far. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull up my actions. And in here, we're going to look for the game loop function right where we said if right press is true. And I added this trace in between the video. I'm going to erase that. We said if right press is true for it to do all of this. We did this just in this video, right? We said if link is on the x-axis is less than 800, link mc.x plus equals link speed. Otherwise, overworld mc.x minus equals link speed. So link will move until he is greater than 800, at that point, the overworld MC, the map, will move. Well, we're going to add an extra um, if here. We're going to add an extra condition. So I'm going to make a space there after that else and type in if, open parentheses, overworld MC dot X. And in this case, when I'm pressing right, overworld MC is moving to the left. So I don't want it to go farther than negative 4,310. So I'm going to go in here. If it becomes, as long as overworld MC is greater than negative 4,310, move overworld. 
Otherwise, it will stop moving overworld and it'll only animate Link walking to the right. So let's take a look. I run it, press the right arrow key, Link walks to the right, and hopefully when he gets to the edge, it'll stop. There it goes. It won't go farther than that. So we have to do the same thing for the left key. If left is pressed, as long as link is greater than 200, move link. Otherwise, if overworld mc dot x be less than 0, close parentheses, and what will happen is, as long as the map doesn't go too far to the right in this case because we're moving left. As long as it be doesn't, it stays less than zero, we're good. Now let me see if I made a mistake there. I have a feeling I may have wrote the wrong. No, I was right. Okay, good. Yeah, because it's moving. The map is moving to the right. So right now it's in the negatives, and as it as long as it as it keeps moving, eventually it's going to get to the edge, and he gets stuck there. And you can see it showed a little bit of edge here. If I wanted to change that, I could. I can just go in here and change the number up, but that's fine. So let's do the same thing for down pressed. If I press the down arrow key, I'm going to go to the else and type in if, else if, open parentheses, overworld mc dot y this time is greater than, and as long as it's greater than, negative 2,232, that's this number here, we wrote from before. Do this, and here, for the up press, we'll say else if overworld mc dot y is less than zero, do this. And if we take a look at it, it'll go up, and he gets to the edge, the map will stop. And the same thing for below.